Hey guys, welcome back. This is Saif with another tutorial from tech for all In this tutorial, I will show you guys how to enable the modern flyouts in Windows 11. Let's start. As you know guys, that it has been time that flyouts have been enabled for Windows 11 uh, beta channel and developer channel, but it's not enabled in the main channel. To enable it in the main channel, you need to use a third-party application by the name of Modern Flyouts. First, let me show you the current flyout of Windows 11. Here, as you can see, guys, that this is the flyout for volume. This is for brightness. And we don't have any flyout for numlock scroll locks. To enable the new flyouts, all you need to do is open Microsoft Store, search for an application by the name of Modern Flyouts. This is the application that you need to download. Click on the download button to download it and then install the application as I have already installed. So I will directly open it from here. The application will be opened and automatically minimized to the notification area. Double click on the icon to open the application. Let's go through the settings first. In the general settings, the first option which is run at startup, it should be turned on so that the application to start automatically whenever you turn your windows uh, shut down or you restart your windows. You can choose the windows default, the modern flyouts, or you can choose none. I will go with the modern flyouts. Inside the personalization menu, you have few options, which is that do you want the flyout deem to use the system default to go with a dark mode, light mode, and what should be the application dim, and also the top bar visibility. Should it be visible at all times? Should it be auto hide or should it be collapsed? And also you can set the flyout transparency or opacity from here. You have an option to show the icon in the notification area or system tray. And also, do you want fade animation or not? I will go with the fade animation, that's okay, and looks kind of cool. In the layout menu, you can select that where the flyout should be enabled and where it should appear. I will go with the default options and I won't change any option. You have option to turn flyouts for audio, brightness, airplane mode and numlock to turn it on and off. I will leave it on for all the applications. Now let's close the application and see the modern flyout. This is the new modern flyout for volume button. Uh, if you want to hide the top bar, uh, all you need to do is click on this icon. Now you don't have the top bar, you will have only the flyout. Let's check it for brightness. This is the flyout for brightness. And now let's check the flyout for uh, lock buttons. Point to be noted that you can move the flyout. All you need to do is uh, drag it from here and drop it anywhere you want and the modern flyout will appear in that specific option next time and that's all for today guys if you need any help comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if you love the video i will catch you very soon with another tutorial till then have a nice time